about how to be saved, what must I do to be saved? Should I need to fast now, pray now, pay all the tithes for me to be saved? What must I do to be saved? That's our vision. Thank you, sir. Salvation is by grace, through faith. And when we read the book of Romans chapter 10, the Bible tells us that when we believe in our hearts and we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, we have our salvation. So when we believe in our heart and confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord, and we have our salvation. Believe in our heart about what? That Jesus died and paid for our sins, past, present, and future sin. Okay. So when we do that, it says we are saved. Pastor uh, Ivan, what you also say to it? Thank you, sir. I also want to read from Acts 16, where Paul went to jail and the jailman was, the officer was asking Paul, what must I do to be saved? Which is Acts 16, the verse 3, 30. He then brought them out and asked, say, what must I do to be saved? Then Paul replied, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Wow. He asked Paul, what must I do to be saved? And what was the answer? Believe in the Lord Jesus. Why didn't Paul tell him to uh, fast, pay tight, put on scarf to be saved? But he only said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you'll be saved. Thank you, sir. Salvation is by faith, not of our works that we should boost according to Ephesians. So our traditions cannot save us, only our faith can. So only our faith can save us. And when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with our mouth that Jesus is our Lord, we are saved. Um, like Acts 2, Peter told them, anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Amen. So, what must you do to be saved? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you are saved. Amen.